Here we have these two images. I want one of them to fade in as I scroll it into view. To do this, we're going to break it down into three simple steps. We're going to add an animation group. We're going to set the fade in animation, and then we're going to tweak exactly where it starts and exactly where it ends. Now, before we get started, make sure you check out the animations 101 video. It's going to cover some stuff I'm going to skip in this video. Let's get started by adding an animation group component. Animation group is the foundation of all scroll driven animations in Web Studio, and it works by animating all of its child contents. So we're going to drag just the right one in there for now. On the animation group, we're going to add a new animation and we're going to select the preset fade in. Now, as we scroll it into view, it's going to fade into view. Let's customize this a little bit though. Let's click on the animation. Here we can see the range start and range end. Currently it starts right as it hits the viewport line and ends right when it's fully in view. But I want it to end when it's in the middle. So we're going to select the middle icon. Now it'll start here and go to the middle. Maybe I want it to start when the entire image is in view, like right here. This might not look great for this animation, but just for the demo. Now we can see it happens a lot quicker. And that's how you add fade in animations to Web Studio.